Hey guys, how's it going? In today's tutorial, we're going to be doing some recap in Adobe Photoshop. Alright guys, so what we're going to be working with is this that we have right here. Um, it's very simple, it's not the best thing in the world. But it will allow you to kind of refresh on some of the stuff you're able to do in Photoshop. Um, that way when it comes to your album cover you have a lot more skills that hopefully you remember that you can apply to to make your album cover look extremely good. Um, so without further ado let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is go to file new oh sorry uh, go to file and new and uh, we're going to go ahead uh, this is going to look different. I'm using a newer version of Photoshop, but still, uh, same things apply. Uh, file new, make sure you're set to inches, and you can put 4.725, 4.725, 200 resolution. Make sure you're at RGB color, and you can title this Album Cover Tutorial. And uh, just go ahead and click Create. So that's going to give us a blank document as you see right here. And uh, we're going to press Control R so that we can go ahead and uh, reveal our rulers. Uh, if you don't see your rulers here, you can press Control R or go to View and click Rulers right here. Uh, once you see your rulers, we're going to go ahead and click on the rulers and just count about three little lines one, two, three, and just drag a little blue line there. Do the same thing over here one two three right around there and the same thing up and down just like that and this basically creates our our little template of where we're not allowed to put any text outside of those lines all our artwork we can go ahead and do but the text needs to make sure it stays in there so I'm gonna go ahead and bring up my album cover and then go ahead and go into my tutorial files, my files used. And these are the files that I have here that I'm going to be using. The first one I'm going to use is this money one. So I'm going to go ahead and drag the money inside. Of course, there's different ver ways to put this picture inside your Photoshop file. And you guys should already know some of them. File open, file place, drag it in, all this stuff, right? So I'm going to go ahead and go and make that money to be about the size of the picture just like so and then click OK. Um, after that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bring in file and place where is place? Oh, place embed in my case and I'm gonna go ahead and go into tutorial uh, yes and then go into files used and look for this Rolex and go ahead and place it and that go ahead and places the Rolex and click OK in this one, we're going to be using the selection tool to select this uh, watch, as you see here. So I'll go ahead and grab my selection tool. Go ahead and zoom in a little bit. And uh, just kind of highlight and select the areas that I want. There you go, so I have a pretty decent selection here. Um, that looks pretty good. Um, now, um, from here, I can go ahead and do... Uh, I mean, it's cause it's going to look different. Uh, my version of Photoshop has changed a lot. But up here at the top where I have Select and Mask, you should see Refine Edges. And hopefully you remember how to use that one. But I'll go ahead and press mine. It's going to give me all these little options here. and Basically, I just have to make sure that everything was selected properly. Just kind of click there, make sure I get a decent selection. Uh, there we go, so that looks OK. Click OK, and then um, go ahead and press this button right here, which will deselect, uh, create the mask for you. Uh, once you have this right here, then you can go ahead and press Control-T 
to resize it or shape it into whatever which way you want. I'm going to go ahead and put this a little bit small, rotate it this way, put it right around there, and make it just a little bit smaller and press enter on my keyboard. And I'll go ahead and place it right there. From here, what I'm going to do next is create a new layer, put the layer underneath the watch, grab my brush, change the color of my brush to black, uh, go to my brushes up here, select one that has like the soft edge, or right click, and make sure hardness is set to zero, and just make this a little bit of a small brush right around here, and I'll go ahead and start coloring here to kind of create this shadow uh, to make it look like if the watch is actually creating a shadow right here. So that looks pretty good. Then I'll go ahead and change the opacity just a little bit. And there we go. That looks pretty good to me. I like the way that looks. Uh, next thing I'll go ahead and do is a uh, file. And actually, let's see, um, file open. Let's try that one. File open. And I'm going to bring in one of these textures. I'm going to go with, I'm going to try this one this time. So texture number five. Uh, texture five, click open. That brings it in in a new window. So I'll go ahead and grab my selection tool and bring it over, drag it into my album cover, and then let go what's in, in here. And then I'll press OK, and now it's in here. And from here, I can have it in there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch it over to overlay. That's going to make it look a little transparent, which kind of looks cool the way it looks there. And then I'll go ahead and create a new layer underneath the money. I'm going to go ahead and get my colors to, this time I'm going to try like yellow and I'm going to try red down here or orange and click OK. So I have yellow and orange here. I'm going to grab my gradient tool, go to my arrow and just make sure I select the first one, which is yellow and orange. Then I'll go ahead and click here and drag out to the corner and I should have a yellow orange color. Now I'm going to grab my money and switch that over to overlay and that's going to make this color pop up actually I think that's way too bright and uh, I do not like that at all whatsoever so I'm going to go ahead and use the colors I originally had which was like a baby blue and then a dark blue and it already switched out here so I'll just go ahead and go to my layer 3 and then drag it over like this that I think looks way better and I like it a lot more. So now from here what I'm going to go ahead and do is grab my type tool. You can choose whatever fonts you want. If you want to download fonts you can always go to dafont.com uh, the font and uh, look for fonts to download. I'm just going to go with this one and call this Rolex Flex. Uh, highlight everything, press and control A and just switch them over to a white font because I like the way that looks. And I'll go ahead and put that right here. Now I'll go ahead and grab my brush tool, go to uh, my drop down arrow here, go to my uh, little gearbox, and I'm going to reset my brushes. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to reset them so I can show you how to install brushes again. And I'm going to click OK. So then I'm going to go here because if I look down, I don't have any of the cool brushes that I want. So I'm going to go to my gearbox, go to load brushes. And I'm actually going to include under my tutorial, I have brushes used, this calligraphy brushes and open. That's going to import this little cool uh, designs here. I'm going to go with this one here and come to my layer 2 and create a new layer. I need to put it in a new layer so that I can be able to see what I'm doing. Now if I were to press right now, you see that this comes out, that means that it's huge, it doesn't fit in here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and use my bracket keys to make my brush smaller. And that looks pretty good, I'll go ahead and place it there. And there we go, now we have a cool little brush. I'll grab my selection tool and I can move that brush around now so long as it's in its own layer. So I'm going to go ahead and double click in layer 4 and call this brush 1 and press enter. Then I'm going to go ahead and press control T and rotate it so I can have it in reverse. And put this down here. Now I'm going to grab my Rolex Flex, bring this guy up and put him right around there. 
that looks okay to me. Then I'm gonna grab my shape tool. Make sure you know you know how you can use your shape tools. Uh, and then bring this guy over here. Put a white line right there, and drop it down to the bottom. That looks pretty cool. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab another shape tool. This time under my fill, up here at the top, I'm gonna switch it over to a dark blue. Uh, press Control Z. Because if you noticed, it switched the current shape that I had selected. So I'm gonna go ahead and select another brush, grab my shape tool, and now switch it over to a dark blue. And from there, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new shape. Just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and select it, and move it underneath that other rectangle or at least on top of this there we go and I'm gonna grab my Rolex bring them up and anything else rectangle that's fine this rectangle needs to go up here there we go so now that's starting to look pretty good to me I like the way that looks um, one more thing that I'd like to do is go over to my brush one right here right click go to my blending options and I'm actually going to change the gradient on this so I'm going to go to gradient overlay and I'm going to change it from maybe like a, a dark blue to kind of a light blue here something that kind of makes it like it's fading away but then I'm going to actually add a stroke uh, and make that stroke white and change the opacity a little bit well maybe not a stroke let's drop a shadow yeah look that looks way better yeah I like the way that looks and click OK so maybe I'll go ahead and right click and copy my layer styles by copying my layer styles I'm actually copying this that's currently right here and I'm gonna right click on this one go all the way to the bottom and I'm actually going to look for paste layer styles. That's going to put it right here under Rolex. But you can't see it that much. So I'll go to blending options, go to my gradients, and maybe change it to a lighter blue. Too much lighter blue. There we go. And here we have a small, short, uh, album cover that you've just created that uses quite a bit of features in Adobe Photoshop. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you learned something and stay tuned so that you can guys so that you all can work on your album cover and hopefully it comes out way better than this. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.